Negotiable Certificates of Deposit, NCDs. NCDs are short-term, shorter than one year, interest-bearing instruments issued by banks where an investor would purchase the instrument and receive their interest and capital at maturity. NCDs are usually issued for tenors of 3, 6, 9 or 12 months. It is possible for NCDs to be issued for tenors longer than one year, in which case the instruments would pay semi-annual interest payments, with the capital amount being repaid at maturity. NCDs are bearer instruments and can be sold and bought freely in the secondary market. This means that at maturity, the issuer of the NCD will pay the interest and capital amount to whoever holds the NCD at that point. This makes NCDs more easily tradable and liquid than fixed term deposits. This is reflected in the pricing of NCDs where the convenience of transferability would mean banks would be able to offer lower rates on NCDs than those of equivalent fixed term deposits. The pricing of NCDs is dependent on the credit quality of the issuing bank. Thus, different banks may have different NCD rates depending on their credit quality. NCDs trade at higher yields to treasury bills, reflecting that banks have a higher credit risk than governments. Typical buyers of NCDs are banks themselves, as banks use NCDs as tools for facilitating interbank funding. NCDs cannot, however, be used as collateral for banks obtaining funding from the Reserve Bank through repo trades, to be discussed later. Banks are market makers in NCDs, and as such, quote, buy and sell prices on NCDs issued in the market. Example, let's calculate the maturity value of a six-month NCD given the following information. So this information would usually be conveyed in what is called a term sheet, and the term sheet would have the following uh, important terms and conditions. The issuing bank of the NCD is the Standard Bank. Issue date is the 21st of February, 2020. Maturity date, the 21st of August, 2020. The face value of the NCD is 10 million Rand, and the interest rate attached to the NCD is 9.9%. Solution. We first need to determine the number of days in the above mentioned six month period of the NCD. So we take the number of days between the 21st of February and the 21st of August, 2020, and we look out for any public holidays, if we look at our calendar, we see that neither the 21st of February nor the 21st of August were public holidays, so we don't need to apply any of our business day conventions. So just counting the number of days between those two dates, we see that there are 182 days in the aforementioned six-month period. So at maturity, we will receive the face value plus interest accrued. This can be calculated using the formula. Maturity value is equal to the deposit multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate times by the number of days that the instrument is valid for divided by 366 days, bearing in mind that 2020 was a leap year. So just substituting the values into this uh, formula, the deposit is just the amount that we pay initially for the NCD, so we put 10 million there, and we put the interest rate of 9.9% in for I. We calculated 182 days for the life of this instrument, and we divide by 366 days to give us a maturity value of 10,492,295 and 8 cents. Suppose after three months, an investor wishes to exit their investment and sell their NCD. Banks are quoting a buyback rate of 9%. Would the seller of the NCD make a profit or a loss on selling their NCD prior to its maturity date? So here, we need to determine the value of the investor's NCD at the three-month point, which is halfway in between the issue date and the maturity date. So the time left until maturity 
In other words, from the 21st of May 2020 until the 21st of August 2020 is 92 days. Again, looking out for any public holidays, which there are none on the 21st of May or the 21st of August in South Africa. Uh, so we don't need to apply any business day conventions there. So we can just count the number of days between those two dates and we get 92 days. In order to determine profit or loss, we would need to compare what the NCD would be worth today at the original yield of 9.9% and compare it with what the NCD is worth at the buyback rate of 9%. And by today, we just mean the day at which we wish to exit the investment, which is the 21st of May, the halfway point. So we have the following formula. Maturity value is equal to the value today multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate times by the time to maturity over 366. We can rearrange this formula to solve for the value today, being just the maturity value divided by one plus i times by the time to maturity over 366. So the value today is just our maturity value, which has not changed. Okay, remember that the NCD has been issued according to those terms and conditions which have not been changed. So the investment will still pay 10,492,295.08 because that has not changed. And we're just valuing it now at the original yield of 9.9% at the halfway point. So we use an interest rate of 9.9% and 92 days until maturity to arrive at a value today, just reflecting the time value of money. The value today is 10,237,531 and 59 cents. Now the price actually received in the market would be based on the buyback rate of 9%. So denoting this buyback rate by IB and using the same formula, we want to calculate what the implied value of the NCD is on the secondary market. In other words, if we were to sell it prior to its maturity date. So we have that maturity value is equal to market price today multiplied by 1 plus IB, multiplied by the time to maturity over 366. And again, we can just rearrange that algebraically to give market price today is equal to maturity value over 1 plus IB, multiplied by the time to maturity over 366. We need to be very careful here because the maturity value, as we said earlier, has stayed the same. The contract has stayed the same. It has not been amended. So the NCD will still pay 10.492 million Rand at maturity. However, to value it today, we need to use what the markets are offering us today to discount this payment back to today. So we use 9%, which is the buyback rate quoted today, and we apply that 9% over the remaining tenor until the maturity date. So substituting 9% into the formula for IB, we get a market price today or market value today implied by this buyback rate of 10,260,179.54. So all we need to do is we need to compare what the market value of our instrument is if we were to hold it until maturity. What is the value of it today if we were to hold it to maturity? Versus if the market is offering to buy it from us, what is the value implied by the new market buyback rate? So we say the profit or loss that we are going to make on this transaction is just the market price minus the value that it would be worth if we were to hold it until maturity. In other words, what is its worth today? So we see that the market price is 10.26 million, but the value is only 10.237 million. That means that if we were to sell it today, we would make a profit of 22,647 Rand and 95 cents. Other money market instruments. Commercial paper. These are short-term discount instruments issued by large corporate entities. They work in the same manner as treasury bills and are also unsecured. Bankers acceptances. These are financial instruments often used in import and export transactions, whereby a corporate entity expecting to receive a payment from an importer would rather have a bank pay them the value of the goods and services they sold instead of receiving funds directly from the importer. 
usually as a risk mitigation measure. The bank would then pay the exporter a discounted value to the amount that they actually expected from the importer. The banker's acceptance, referencing the value of the receivable due from the importer, could then be further sold into the market by the bank and traded as a financial instrument. 